Oh, oh what a beautiful morning. It's Wednesday and I'm home alone at half eight in the morning. Listen to that. Nothing. It's glorious. Today, both the boys are at are in childcare, so goes at nursery, edits its childminders, and Hainsley's doing drop off because I have got a nice little day. I'm heading into London to go to a salon called Archive, and then I'm getting tattoo removal. So not, <laughs> I say nice day. And then I'm coming home, and then I do have to do hair this evening. Well, late afternoon, I'm doing my mum's friend's hair. But yeah, because I'm heading into London, I was like, I just want to get ready properly. So Hainsey's is taking the kids and I'm here having a lovely old morning. So I've washed my hair. I know I'm going to a salon, but my hair was disgusting. I haven't started vlogging for this week up until Wednesday because I'm just working all the time at the moment, which is great. But then I just have no time for anything. So my hair was desperate for a wash. And I thought I cannot turn up at a salon with filthy filthy hair i also wanted to try a shampoo so i can talk about it on tiktok so i've done that this morning and no doubt i'll probably have my hair washed again i actually don't know what's happening i've just been invited to the salon so this salon the brand is called archive they're a brand that i talk about quite a lot over on tiktok and they are founded by a hairdresser called adam reed who's like this amazing session stylist he's quite like a, he's quite cool um, does a lot of fashion week, does a lot in that kind of area. Um, he's the Reed of Percy and Reed, if you've heard of that. They are no longer a thing and now he's got this salon called Archive and this brand called Archive, which is an affordable hair brand. So it's in boots. I talk about it so much on TikTok. It's such a good brand. Mainly the dry shampoo is incredible. Probably the best dry shampoo I've ever tried. Though some people don't like it, it's I, I describe it as more of a hair refresher than a typical dry shampoo, but that's why I love it. There's no white cast. You can use so much of it. It literally does what you need it to, which is absorb the oil. It doesn't like mat the hair. It doesn't build up in the hair. It just refreshes it in the most amazing way, but it does also add volume if that's why you like dry shampoo. I just love it. It's my, I love it so much. And so they have invited me to come to the salon. So that's what I'm doing this morning. Um, so I need to put my makeup on spruce myself up a bit thank you all so much for your lovely comments on my vlogs just recently but last week specifically um i got some comments of people saying like how much you're enjoying my vlogs at the moment and i have to say i'm also really enjoying vlogging um even though i can fall off the edge of a cliff uh throughout the week sometimes <laughs> i am really enjoying like being on youtube regularly it's it's fab i love it i'm watching the anna edits latest video and i've paused her as she's holding up where's my finger as she's holding up her everyday bag it's the loewe puzzle bag the reason why i'm watching this is because i mentioned to you it's my big birthday this year 40 don't tell anyone and i'd mentioned about wanting to get myself a pair of jimmy chews um as like a birthday present but also like a signifier i guess of like something that I've always wanted to be able to do that I could finally achieve by my 40th birthday and I feel like that would have been that would have been achievable I say would have because if you remember a couple of vlogs ago my lovely manager Paul who I've worked with for years who I is an angel baby bought me a pair of Jimmy Chews um as an early birthday present and was just a gorgeous angel so I was thinking okay do I want to get another pair of designer shoes like maybe a Manolo or a Saint Laurent, I quite like Jean Vito Bossi, like do I want to get, or even a Louboutin, but like a, a smaller heel one, do I want to get just a plain stiletto, because the Jimmy shoes I've got are quite dressy, they're wonderful, but I feel like I would also like to get just a blush, like a nude pair of painted like heels, like do I want to maybe think about getting those, then I was on TikTok and saw this other girl who I follow and it's her 40th birthday and she was like this is my 40th birthday present and it's the Loewe puzzle bag. I love that bag but I don't think about it often because it is so so expensive and I suddenly thought do I want to start saving now to possibly buy that for my 40th? In comparison to a pair of Jimmy Choo's I could probably buy maybe three pairs of Jimmy Choo's for how much that bag is. <laughs> so <laughs> it's extortionate and I couldn't believe that that thought popped into my head and I actually was considering it, but I'm actually considering it. So 
I'm now watching this. The fact that this video's popped up now and she will be showing her lower back. Like already looking at it now, it's aged so nicely. My my issue with it is that it's very stiff. If you see them when they're new, they're so stiff and they're quite awkward to get in and out of. But looking at how hers has aged, it looks divine. So I'm just wondering about that. So I'd love your guys' feedback <laughs> on what you think. And then it would be a question of navy or the dark tan. So anyway, that's something we can kind of hash out together over the next few months and we'll see. I just don't know if I could part with that much money, to be honest, um, even if I had it. So let's let's just see where we get to. I may still just get a nice pair of shoes. But anyway, um, I just thought I'd fill you in. I don't know if I've talked to you about this. I think I've only talked about it on tiktok but this is the revlon it's the hot brush but it's called the style booster it's not the main hot brush i have been using this so much to style my hair and on mornings like this morning when i need to get out quick this sounds like such an ad <laughs> when i need to get out quick it's amazing if you have wanted like the dyson air wrap or something like that but you don't want to spend that much money i i advise everyone not to because the dyson is so hit and miss but this is incredible because it's just like a ceramic brush but heated if you like that kind of blow dry style, I can, I can just blast off my hair and just basically kind of brush my hair and get a really nice finish. So you can see like, that's the volume at the side of my head it creates. So I've just thought, I'll show you, because I'm just finishing off the top of my hair, I'll show you how I style it and like the finish, because honestly, it's like, it's normally £40, it's always on offer in boots and it's like, I got it for like 35 quid. So cheap, so worth the money, honestly. It's it's my favourite thing I've bought this year. Woo! It's as easy as that. I then just find my parting. And, I mean, not everyone wants, like, a big housewife blow dry. I appreciate that. But when I just need to get out of the house, like, this will massively drop. And then I might just take the front. It's as easy as brushing your hair, like seriously. And as I say, I'm going to a salon, so I, I don't need to do my hair. I just wanted it to be clean and like somewhat presentable and like that's fine for me. But look at that swoosh. And then I would sometimes go through and put more of like a beachy wave through. Um, but I'm just gonna spray this with texture spray the archive texture spray to be exact hold on so this is the archive dry shampoo that's what it looks like it's called the reset incredible this is the texture spray called the movement i think yeah okay fabulous right i need to get dressed okay so i'm wearing this which is just not very interesting this arquette kind of striped top and these and other stories trousers which i wear quite a lot and then i'm going to wear them with my novesta trainers i realized i haven't shown you my glasses that I got from Jimmy Fairley. Do you remember I went to, let me try and find somewhere to, to prop you on. Um, do you remember I went to Jimmy Fairley? Jimmy Fairley? Jimmy Fairley. Uh, to get my eyes tested a few weeks ago. I realized I didn't show you my glasses. I picked them up uh, a couple of weeks ago. And these are the ones I chose. So how nice is the glasses case? Will look fab in my new Le Rove puzzle bag. I, I, I think I've decided I want to go for it already within that 10 minutes. Already can't stop thinking about it. And I think I'm going to see how time goes today. But if I have time, I might try and whiz over, depending where I am, whiz into somewhere that has Le Rove and just have a look at them. I've done that many times. But I feel like now with a new mindset of like, potentially, could I make this happen? I'm going to go and look at them. I've already put them on my Pinterest board my perfect life do you know what i mean anyway these are the glasses i got now i cannot remember the name of them i'll put the name down below hainsley hates them which is great oh i think they've got elliot's grubby hands on them but i love them they're quite similar to glasses that i had years ago which i replaced these with but i quite like this deirdre barlow style on me hainsley says i look like sadness from inside out but you know i'm okay with that and they really really have helped when I'm watching TV, looking at my phone at the end of the day when my eyes just kind of hurt or I have a headache. I've been watching TV every evening with them recently and they've really helped. Um, they took a while, like a few days to get used to wearing them. I felt like my eyes were like ticklish. Does anyone get that with new glasses? Like it felt like my eyeballs were being tickled when I put them on. 
I don't know if that's a good way of explaining it. But anyway, I like them. I feel like they suit me. Like, I look like, yeah, she's wearing glasses, but I don't feel like they look... Um, so they've got the blue light thing, which is kind of annoying, but it's worth investing in. Like, I got everything on the lens. I can't remember, like, what I got, but I got, like, the best lens ever that's just going to, you know, UV, blue light, whatever it is. I was like, whack it on, babes. That's not the most exciting thing when you get glasses from Jimmy Fairley. Let me tell you, that's the tip of the iceberg. The case that it comes with is just the tip of the iceberg. You get this fabulous tote. And it had some Haribo in it, some Jimmy Fairley branded Haribo. I mean, have I convinced you to go and get your eyes tested and pretend that you need glasses even if you don't? Or you could get some, oh no, you'd still need to get prescription. You could just buy some sunglasses from there and you'd probably get this as well. They have some lovely ones, which I'm also in the market for for summer. Anyway, I think I'm going to take this with me. It's like the perfect size London tote. I love where it sits. Tote girlies, you may feel me on this. There's nothing worse than a tote arm strap that isn't quite long enough. This is perfect. As you can see, we can get into it easily and it's comfortable even with a coat. Do you know what I mean when I say that? So I'm going to pack this. Should I take this or should I just take my normal bag? Part of me is like, can I be bothered? But anyway, um, so yeah, I thought I um, would, I thought let me show you those because otherwise I never will. I basically massively like o underestimated and then overestimated my timing, and so now um, I think I'm running a bit late. But I'm just waiting for an Uber to take me to the station. I'm actually a bit early, um, so I'm in Covent Garden. That's where the archive salon is. I feel like I need to whisper because it's so quiet. But I'm a bit early, so I'm going to pop into Arquette because I want to get socks. <laughs> and possibly look at the, what like basic tops they've got. I'm just walking past under the stories, might pop into there. Um, oh, there's a little lemon. I might also pop into the lemon because I do need some more workout clothes because she's in her Pilates era. Just love the homeware. It's giving spring. It's giving spring vibes. Look at this. I just want salads and I want to eat outside. Glorious. Okay. So we're left with one top and five pairs of socks because they were doing five for the price of four and I've no four and no bargain. I was at uni, so Did you love like... it? A bit of the movement. And again, you can see how it... so I did use a little bit of the oil. I'm so pleased I was able to get a haircut. I love it. Um, right, so I've got a bit of time now between Tattoo and this. Um, so I think I'm going to go somewhere and grab some lunch, but I'm trying to think where to go. Oh, maybe I might head over towards Tottenham Court Road way and go and sit and eat somewhere around there. But I feel like I want somewhere quiet. I mean, where's going to be quiet? It's lunchtime in London. Um, and head to Liberty and maybe look at the Loewe bags. I mentioned before. Um, yeah, let's go and do that. Okay, so they don't do it in midnight navy anymore. It's only dark grey or black. But I really liked that bag. Okay, these doors are going to open and someone's going to see me. Bit of a soft spot for this Ganny Barber jacket. How nice is that for dog walks? I don't even have a dog. The thing about London is you always need to know where there's toilets. And in Liberty, there is toilets. <laughs> just FYI. Okay, so I just went to Liberty to use the toilet. But also because I wanted to go to the Lavo to buy two testers. You can buy, like, quite big tech well, not quite big, but you can buy testers basically for six pounds so that you can really probably try the fragrance and I wanted to get another 13 and the noir I think I like noir but I find that sometimes fragrances like I thought I really liked Frederick my portrait of a lady and then I sprayed it on me and after a while I just didn't think it smelled very nice so I feel like that could be the same with these and I thought I, I really liked another 13 as I smelt it in the bottle and now on my skin I don't know I, I think I like it I'm just not sure 
I think I might just have to buy Santal again because I just love that fragrance so much, but I just feel like everyone has that now. I don't know, I just feel like there's like a sourness that another 13 has on my skin that smells totally different from in the bottle. I'm gonna migrate up to Tottenham Court Road, see if there's an Itsu, because I want sushi and uh, gyoza. Tattoo removal is done. I just realized I didn't vlog like walking into the building or anything, so I could just be lying, but it's definitely been done. The pain, to be honest, I remember like, it's actually better, not better, but like if you just get like a couple of zaps, it's so painful, but as they do more, it kind of goes a bit numb. I mean, it's still really painful, but it's, it's not easy to deal with, but like you kind, it kind of, the pain molds into one and you can't really feel it, really. <laughs> so, but anyway, I'm glad it's over. And now like my feet feel fine. So yeah, now I've got to head back to my salon because I'm doing my mum's friend's hair this evening because there's just no rest for the wicked, you know? Um, but I'm, oh, I need the blue actually. I'm not, I didn't think this through. I'm doing hair now and I always wear black. Hairdressers always wear black because especially if you're a colorist, you, your clothes just get a bit fucked. So there's no point wearing anything nice really to work. I'm wearing my nice Arquette striped top and I am doing color, but I think it will be okay. I'm just gonna roll my sleeves up, wear my pinny and just be really, really careful. I am just actually replacing, can you see? I've got a new heater, right? There's no heating in this place. That light is not great, is it? There's no heating, so I had to go out and buy a new, so I already have this one, but it's kind of given up the ghost, I think, from being overworked during winter. So I've literally just bought exactly the same one. However, I didn't realize that if I'd have bought insurance with this via Argos, literally four pounds, I could have just given this back and got a new one that lasts for three years. So I did that with this one because it's only 22 quid. I was like, oh my God, I could have not had to pay another 22 quid. Long term, I am, I don't know if it will work, but I am gonna try and get some heating and air con person in to tell me what the options might be because I definitely will need aircon if I have any desire to work through the summer, especially when we get those 40 degree days. I, I would not be able to work in here when it's really hot. And equally in the winter, it gets really fucking cold. So I'd like to just come up with a more permanent solution, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. I mean, there's, there's things that I'm not sure about. So like there's this up here, that's some kind of fan, right? And then also down here, there's one of these, oh, okay, one of these. That goes to the outside. When you have an air conditioning unit, you need something like that for it to go to. So I'm wondering if we might be able to do something. I have no idea about these things. I'm gonna get someone in. Anyway, let me set this heat up because it is a little bit cold. Okay, so how nice is this? This is what Archive gave me. The nicest tote bag ever. I was talking about a good tote earlier and this is great because look, it's white. And it says, you have always been enough. Listening to Adam's story about like his concept of the stuff, he's very into uh, like looking after you. Your, he, it's called archive head care because he's all about looking after your head as inside as well as out and the ritual of self care. Um, he's quite vocal about like any mental health struggles he's had. So he really believes in kind of creating these kind habits for yourself. So yeah, that's my new toe. Doesn't it look great? Oh my God, I love it. Some gorgeous products. This new one, no, the mousse. This is a hybrid mousse. He put it in my head today. I wouldn't even know I had mousse in it. I've got this already. The Good Karma Cushioning Moisture Cream is a lovely one. The Movement Dry Texturizing Spray. And then also this is new, the Headliner Modern Definition Gel. Good for curly hair. So I'm interested to give that a go. And then this oil is great. It's the hybrid the good habit is a hybrid oil, so it's like an oil cream, like an oil serum, I suppose. And then a hair primer, so this is good to put before you style. Went to our hair, basically an identical top to what I'm wearing now, because um, you can just never have too many striped tops. Socks, as I mentioned, because our kept do great socks, and they had five for the price of four, so I got, I've already got a grey pair. I've got a grey pair, a navy pair. Oh, are these not ribbed? I picked up this navy pair and realized they're not ribbed. This charcoal pair, a black pair, and then I thought, <laughs> why break the habit of a lifetime? Let's get a striped pair. <laughs> the kind of trousers I'm wearing, these like tailored 
ones. I like to roll them up and have my sock poking out. And I thought a striped sock could look quite cute um, with this kind of outfit. Um, obviously not with a striped top, like in all black. Anyway. I did pop into Lululemon just to try on a pair of leggings. And obviously left with a pair of leggings. Their sizing is American, so it's like, how am I supposed to know what I will fit into? And I thought I'd be a size six, but then I felt like there's, I could get away with a size four, so that's what I've got, a size four in the Align pants. These are the black ones, literally the most comfortable things you'll ever wear. I am starting Pilates more regularly, so I've got any of these. So, <laughs> I need to get myself ready. Because I'm going to do my mum's friend's hair, and I need to put my I need to put my Invisalign back in. So uh, I'll see you soon. Oh, hello! <clears throat> I'm back home. What a lovely day I've had. Here's my haircut. Doesn't it look great? Honestly, I hate it when other people style my hair, but this, this I can get down with. I think I don't feel like I need to wash it again. How stunning is this? Although he did cut it in a slightly centre parting, which I don't usually wear it in, but. I don't really mind this. Anyway, so yeah, such a lovely day. Adam is a dream. It was so nice chatting with him this morning. I could, I feel like he's one of those people you could chat to forever. He's just so interesting. He's been so lovely and was so appreciative that I talk about his brand so much on TikTok and the support I've given it and was very much like, anything you need, just come to the salon, I'll colour your hair next time. Like, let's just keep this open dialogue. I was like, oh my God, Adam, yes, you're amazing. So that's really nice. And that's what's so lovely about this industry and like social media is when you build connections with people in that way. Um, anyway, um, and I'm just about to make dinner. Hainsey's just putting Gabriel to bed because um, Gabe likes us to hold his little hand until he goes to sleep. So I'm about to put some salmon in the oven because we're going to have salmon, broccoli and rice with a kind of like soy, mirin, honey, ginger. Oh, I don't think I've got any ginger. Honey ginger type situation sauce. Um, but I, I got some bougie salmon in this week's shop because it was on offer. And I actually think it's probably better value for money than like the cheaper salmon I get because I feel like there's quite a lot on each fillet. Um, whereas I'm sure when I normally buy just like Sainsbury salmon there isn't as much in each fillet. And also, look at that lovely orange colour. And then I've got a bit of uh, galaxy chocolate to eat and then we're probably going to watch Married at First Sight. So um, I don't really know why I, I, I vlogged now. I just thought I'll kind of round off today. Oh, hello, good morning. God, I look awful. It's Thursday morning, I'm just sat at traffic lights and I'm taking Elliot to his childminder, I don't think you can see him. I've just dropped Gabe to nursery and I was absolutely fine. <laughs> I just thought I'd talk about this because generally I'm okay but this is like how it can be when you have a child with additional need. And I'm finding this, I think I've spoken about this before, like events can be quite upsetting and today is world book day i didn't really think anything of it um i didn't think to dress gabe up because he wouldn't know what was happening he wouldn't be able to tell me what he would want to dress up but he does love books he does love reading and i could if i really wanted to like make him dress as like the hungry caterpillar <laughs> but he wouldn't really be participating because he doesn't know what's going on but as i say i just it did not even cross my mind that it would be an issue and it's just like dropping him off and then like driving now to, to Elliot and obviously I go past quite a lot of schools and like the other children at his nursery were dressed up and just seeing all the other kids dressed up like and I really thought I was fine hold on I'm turning a corner again right sorry if you can hear that this is such bad parenting isn't it but we've got like six minutes before nine o'clock and that's when his child mind takes him. Anyway, yeah, just kind of walking, sorry, not walking, just driving now and then, well, going into nursery and seeing all the other children like dressed up, all the teachers are dressed up. And then, and I was okay then. And then it was just driving and driving past all the schools on the way to where we're going and seeing all the other children dressed up. Suddenly just felt upset and that's what happens like I don't always anticipate that things will be difficult and then it's happening and then it's like okay this is really tough because it's like will he ever be able to like participate in anything like that and I think that he will be like I generally feel positive like which is why 
when things like this hit me i'm like why am i so upset but it's it's because it is upsetting like it's really upsetting when your kid isn't like when your kid doesn't talk yeah it doesn't do the things that other children do usually like day to day i'm fine it's just things like this i find difficult and I know I find them difficult. I didn't think I'd find today difficult, but like Easter, again, like I found that really upsetting last year. And there's always hope that next year will be different. And then when it's not, that's what is more upsetting because last year and the year before, like I thought, oh, next year he'll know. And like Easter, I thought, oh, well, next year maybe he'll know. And we can do an egg hunt. Oh, so there we go. I need to stop crying. But I just thought I'd just talk about this because this is maybe the things that either if you are going through it yourself, you might not anticipate or if you're supporting someone that's going through it, it's just maybe handy to like bear this in mind. Kind of just let them talk if they want to, but and you know, don't, but maybe just bear in mind that some things for parents with children with additional needs can be difficult um so yeah i'm actually going to work after this <laughs> to do a client which will be nice and i'm sure once i've dropped elliot and i'm on my way to the salon and i'm there and i need to put my makeup on and have something to eat and stuff i'll feel better and once i've had a coffee i've not had coffee so I'm not making excuses if i'm upset i'm upset it's completely valid but yeah i just thought um Oh, I'm back home. I'm feeling better than I was this morning. So thanks for being, have I got chocolate in my teeth? I've taken my Invisalign out because I just ate lunch. Um, feeling better than I did this morning. So thank you all for your support during that time. It's up and down, isn't it? It's up and down. Some days are good, some days are challenging, but I'm in my bedroom because I've got packages to open um, and things to show you. I don't know if one of these I bought, this is a little fantastic order I made. Um, the other two are, it's PR and I don't know if I mentioned last time, I seem to have found myself on the Clinique PR list and they've been sending me some stuff recently and the most recent thing is the Anti-Blemish Solutions Clinical Clearing Gel. So a little gel you can ap apply to a little spot if you get one. This came through from Wren which is their new PHA exfoliating facial. It's kind of maybe similar to like the exfoliate, Kate, uh, I've got to Kate Somerville, the exfoliate mask, possibly, but maybe not as strong. I've also got a package from Philip Kingsley um, because I'm doing a job with them on TikTok. Oh, this one I knew was coming because they contacted me on TikTok and it's something I wanted to try also. But I don't know if anyone has seen this floating around, Hello Clean. It's a brand that does hair care, but also this shower head. They contacted me and said, did I want to try one? I was like, absolutely. Because something I always get asked about is these kind of shower heads. I think they are worthwhile, but it'd be really good to actually probably try it in our shower because we do have hard water where we live. This is what I bought from Lip Fantastic. I got another microfiber towel. I have one of these already and I think they're great, but it's white and I feel like it gets quite dirty. I mean, I don't love the pattern on this. There's not the biggest selection. It's Kitsch, it's the brand. And so I got this one that's just got dots on it because they didn't, they, this looks much bigger. Just wrap it around your head, it's microfiber. It's much like better for your hair. It just dries your hair really quickly and it's much easier to use than a towel. I wanted some more collagen. I've previously used Vital Proteins to mix into my smoothie and I wanted to try this brand, which is Vida Glow, which they had on Look Fantastic. So I've given that a go. It's the marine collagen. It doesn't taste of anything. And I think this is individual sachets it into a drink or food i like to put it in my smoothie i got a top up of the it cosmetic cc cream the matte one because it's my favorite base and then i was watching the anna edit and she spoke about this and i thought with my new abundant brows if you watched last week you'll know i've been using a brow gel and i feel like my brows are coming on nicely um i thought i would try getting something to kind of keep them in place so i got on at the anna edit's recommendation the Anastasia Brow Freeze, which now comes in like a mascara type 
tube it was previously a pot and then this was like a treat and it's a fragrance i've wanted for ages and it's joe malone surprisingly like i'm not really a joe malone type gal but i smelt this years ago when it first came out and i've loved it ever since so i thought treat yourself to a little bottle of it babes for it but it's the cologne intense and it's oud and bergamot it's like a really nice kind of fancy evening scent because it's oud but it's not like that heavy kind of headachey overwhelming oud it's like a nice fresh one and it's just such a nice scent oh it's so nice <coughs> you look so small your hair looks a bit flat on the top there Hi. <laughs> little wave from little belly we're currently on hold to bt for quite possibly the millionth time in the last few months i i'll go into it later but i've had literally the worst time with bt business wi-fi don't ever use bt for your business wi-fi they are just so inept so anyway we're out having a snack it's been an hour now by the way and I finally got the issue sorted and now I'm talking to another team to get another issue sorted but okay. so we've come in to have a snack haven't we Ellie because we're hungry um yeah I'm gonna make a smoothie so because mornings can be so hectic I am finding that I'm kind of involuntarily uh, like intermittent fasting um and also because I have Invisalign in so it's hard to eat because then I have to floss or brush my teeth afterwards it depends like sometimes I like to brush my teeth um, so eating's just a bit annoying. It's not that easy to do when you have kids around. Do you want this? Oh yes, hello. Hi. Yeah, I appreciate the business, baby. Okay, apparently my issue has been resolved. We'll see, because I've been told that many times before by BT and it has not been resolved. So anyway, I'm really not an annoying customer, but like this has just been an absolute joke. Basically, um, in brief. I oh, did you drop your banana? Yummy, scrummy. Ellie's. Oh, we were, oh god the battery's flashing so I don't know if I've got time to talk about my BT um, issues but basically uh, yeah don't set up your business wifi with them I'm, I'm gonna charge this battery and then we can talk more when Elliot's down for his nap god it's such a beautiful day <sighs> cheers happy Friday um, I don't think I ever showed you these glasses I got in the John Lewis sale after Christmas um, to drink Prosecco out of I don't really like a flute for like champagne and prosecco and we have these wine glasses i think i've shown you before which are these ones which i also got in the sale in john lewis maybe last year but these are like my favorite wine glasses ever i think they're so nice they're like the perfect wine glass you just can't drink prosecco or champagne out of them you need like a, a skinnier glass but as i say a flute annoys me i was thinking about getting is it a coupe or a coupe but I went in Sean Lewis, these were on the sale, and I thought, oh my god, that's perfect. They're just... Mm. I've been waiting for this all day. Hainsey came in this afternoon, and I was like, I can't wait for a drink later. So we've got Prosecco and Chambord. Quite a delicious mix. So, the kids are in bed, and I just... I didn't really finish talking about my BT dilemma this morning. I'm also just finishing off the very best crisps in existence. There's actually really not that many. So, what happened with BT? Very quickly, I set up my internet account for the salon with BT last August when I moved in. Thought that, like, this is completely my fault and I get it. I thought I had also set up a direct debit at the same time. I hadn't. And three months of bills went unpaid, but I knew nothing about it. They sent emails saying, view your bill. Most companies send an email saying, view your bill to just give you a reference this is your bill i was never sent an email as soon as there was a missed bill i got no communication that a bill hadn't been paid i then get communication via a letter no i then suddenly get an email one evening in like late october november your wi-fi is being cut off tomorrow and i was like what the fuck log into my account i see three months of bills have gone unpaid there's late fees i was like shit i paid them straight away called them the next day then it was back and forth about whether it could be reinstated apparently not it's too late you need to set up a new contract i disputed with them the fact that there was had been no communication for three months that a bill had gone unpaid and this is the first i'd heard of it and now it's too late and that that wasn't good enough that went back and forth we solved it in the end they did end up crediting me for the late fee well they told me they'd credited me for the late fees 
and I was also then put on a more expensive contract because the contract I first signed up to wasn't available anymore so I had to pay more which is all very convenient anyway um, I thought I'd sorted it out then it was like January end of Jan I then get in my business account my BT direct debit which I did set up this time for 86 pounds and I was like what the hell first I'm supposed to be being credited money to not be paying as much as my contract even is and secondly what the fuck <laughs> why is internet 86 pounds ring them oh you've been billed twice our mistake so sorry it'll be sorted credited back to your account don't worry about it this month what popped up in my direct debits another one for 86 pounds so I ring them again now this guy tells me oh it's because you've got two contracts I was like what they then try to tell me that in order to cancel one of the contracts I need to pay an early cancellation fee <laughs> I was like are you joking I why do I have two contracts why would I even set up two contracts for the same address and why has no one told me this up until this point so anyway as you can imagine a lot of back and forth for no reason at all that it 45 minutes this guy tried to tell me that I would have to pay early termination fees because I I have two contracts I I honestly I was like shouting because I was like I didn't set up two contracts you cancelled my first one and I had to set up a new one then he speaks to other people oh we can cancel it and waiver the fees uh, obviously because this has been done in error this is not this is not my problem so anyway I wanted to cancel the whole thing I don't want to be with them anymore they are honestly the worst company I've ever dealt with but I have to they couldn't cancel them I mean, maybe if I'd have pushed it there, but I couldn't really be asked. Anyway, so that was that. But I mean, honestly, I couldn't, I ha I didn't want to be, you know, I don't, I don't want to shout at you, mate. I was telling him, I don't want to be a bitch. But what the fucking fuck? Then, because apparently one person can't solve everything, I then had to speak to Billing separately about the fact that they've billed me twice, double the amount, to get that refunded. So anyway, that's where we are. It's now Friday night, kids are in bed, everything's great. I'm cooking a lamb curry, got the rice in the oven, um, got some naan breads, got our prosecs. And then we're probably going to watch Married at First Sight. We've just got to the dinner party, the first dinner party. Oh, we finished Love is Blind. Pretty rubbish really, wasn't it? Um, and that's about it so i'll probably round off this evening this day's vlog here and i might round off this vlog here i'm going to try and start editing this together possibly tomorrow evening so hopefully go up on sunday so i'll see where we are and i might vlog a bit more okay great <laughs>